The life of another major rap star has come to a violent end. Rapper Biggie Smalls was shot to death in Los Angeles early this morning while leaving a party. His death comes almost exactly six months to the day that another rapper, Tupac Shakur, was fatally shot in Las Vegas. Bill Smith is live now from our sister station, KTLA, in Los Angeles with the latest on the story. Bill? Yes, good evening, Karen. You can imagine the shock waves that went through the Southern California music industry after this tragic shooting. It happened just after midnight here in Southern California after a joyous party turned tragic. The shooting occurred at just about 3.30 this morning, New York time. The shooting was here in the middle of L.A.'s fashionable Wilshire district called Museum Row when the rapper's car was riddled with bullets, leaving him so badly wounded that he was pronounced dead at the nearby Cedar sinai Hospital, often known as the Hospital of the Hollywood Stars. The shooting followed a music industry party, celebrating the Soul Train Music Awards, where Notorious B.I.G. performed last year. The party was here inside the Peterson Auto Museum, but when the party became too crowded, the fire department shut it down and sent everybody on their way. Well, it's still early in the investigation, but it appears that that was the intended victim. So this is another, another round fired in this war of the rappers? Well, we, we hope that we're not getting into that situation. This is a very tragic event. It has similarities to another shooting. But there were a lot of people that were in the area, and we're hopeful that someone would come forward and give us information so that we can uh, close this case. And at L.A.'s leading rap station, The Beat, the calls kept coming in all day long. What's it going to take, yo? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They say it's not a West Coast, East Coast thing. I'm from New York. I'm living out here in Cali right now. I say it's not a West Coast, East Coast thing. I'm not saying that that's what happened. But what's it going to take? I guess there is that undercurrent of East Coast, West Coast. Yes, it is, but... It's pretty much died down. That's pretty much died down. That's pretty much not the issue now. Everything is, hopefully, this isn't anything that has to do with East Coast, West Coast, and we, we pretty much know it isn't. You know, it's pretty much media hype that we think the East Coast and West Coast mm -hmm. kind of going on like that, yeah. so. And at the scene of last night's shooting, fans today told us they just didn't get it. I don't understand this. You know, I just don't understand it. I mean, this is a, this is a beautiful guy that got killed over nothing, really. And Karen, as you'll notice, just about everybody we talk to, from the police to the people listening to the radio to the people in the music industry, all trying to downplay the East Coast, West Coast rivalry. The police say they don't have much just yet, but they say they are hopeful because they say probably three or 400 people may have seen this shooting. Somebody may have recognized somebody. They're trying to talk to as many people as they can. Karen, that's the story tonight, live from Los Angeles.